Today we are going to discuss the first poem of Hornbill, which is the photograph, composed by Shirley Tolson. This poem is actually a tribute of poet to her mother, who is no more. And this poem is also about the mother and her cousin's childhood photograph. And by looking at that photograph, poet started feeling, uh, uh, feeling sad and recalling her mother's memories. And that is why this poem revives nostalgic feeling in the poem. What is nostalgic? It is a feeling when we start missing our past, especially our childhood or something which we lost in the past. So that is uh, so that is nostalgic, and in this poem, in this poem, she was feeling nostalgic, nostalgic in so many places. Okay, so this poem is having three stanzas, or we could say he uh, we have divided this poem into three stages: first, second, and third stage. So first stage, actually, in this first stage or first stanza, poet got a photograph. In which there were three girls, and these three girls are her mother and her mother's cousins, and her mother must be of twelve years or so, and they were enjoying a holiday on sea beach. Means in that photograph there was a scene of sea beach where they were enjoying their holiday. Okay, and in the second stanza it was describing their the it was the scene of must be twenty thirty years later. Okay, and she was, I uh, mean, poet was imagining or assuming that she would laugh at that photograph. Might be by thinking in what way her parents dressed them up, and that is why they must have been laughing at that moment. And also in this uh, second stanza, she was describing the loss of loss of past. And she was saying that as I lost. My past, my mother's laughter, same way my mother would uh, lose her childhood. Okay, and in the third and final stage, or you could say last stanza, she remember her mother with heavy heart. Means she got emotional in final stanza, and she decided to not speak anymore. And there was uh, she required the complete silence. Silence. So that's all about. The photograph, and uh, we will discuss this poem in detail through the text of the poem. Thank you. So let's discuss the poem, a photograph in detail, and the speaker of this poem is surely herself. So let's start. The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling. Each one holding one of my mother's hands, and she, the big girl, some twelve years or so, all three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera, a sweet face. My mother, that was before I was born, and the sea, which was appeared to to have changed less, washed their terribly transient feet. The cardboard here refers to a photograph. Means a photograph was pasted there on that cardboard. So the poet looks at that cardboard frame of an old photograph. The photograph showed two girls' cousins holding the hand of the poet's mother. As you can see in this picture, which is given for the example, they had gone for paddling. And what is paddling? Here it means they went there for bathing in shallow water of the sea. Out of those three, her mother was eldest one, and she must be of twelve years or so. All of them were standing still, smiling through their hair, which means. Uh, it was looking as if they were smiling through their hair because at the time of capturing the photograph, their hair was scattered over their faces. So it was looking as if they were smiling through their hair. Now this line is important. 
and the sea which appears to have changed less washed their terribly transient feet yes sea which was appeared changeless as we all know the concept of mortality and immortality we human beings are having a short period of time and on the other side these oceans rivers and mountains and so many things related to nature are having long period of time as you could say these are immortal things so the immortal sea was changed less but her mother was changed with the passage of time and the sea waves were washing their terribly transient feet transient means short and momentary so their terribly transient feet are symbolizing the short and momentary life of human beings so which so we, here you could say the poet wanted to describe here that with the passage of time her mother was changed but the sea remained the same there only so this was the first stanza of this poem where the photograph shows the poet's mother standing at the beach enjoying a holiday with her two cousins okay now you may have heard about the comprehension questions of poetry where they ask you the question related to that particular stanza and you need to give the answer by taking the help of that stanza okay so here this here are some of the examples of such questions so first question is what does the cardboard show i already gave you the answer of this question the cardboard shows the poet's mother she was standing at the beach with her two girl cousin the next question is do you do you see the poet in the photograph if not why obviously very common answer no she is not in the photograph because she was not even born at that time obviously because because her mother was herself a child that time and the next question who was the big girl and how old was she uh, we all know the big girl was the poet's mother and she was about 12 years old now the next question who was standing with camera and where so who was standing obviously the uncle was standing with camera at the beach and you remember the girls were smiling through their hair at that time now the next question explain wind paddling so what is wind paddling i described this also wind paddling here means wind for wading or bathing in the shallow water of the sea so this is all about the first stanza of this poem now we will talk about the second stanza of this poem